These are our new dahlia beds and you can see uh, this is a whole new area of garden and it's very much work in progress. This used to be literally a bit of meadow and there was a hedge there which we've taken out to extend our dahlia beds that were on the west side of the hedge right the way over to the east here. And so we've literally times three each the size of each bed so we've got six times the space for our dahlias and we need it because we grow so many dahlias here. Now uh, the reason I'm sitting in this funny place is this is my cutting of emery pool that I did and showed you how to do. They struck really quickly, uh, they had roots coming out the bottom of the pot within three weeks so I potted them on and they're already out here going out with the tuber grown plants so they've really caught up and I just want to show so we've planted here 200 uh, plants of dahlias um, either from tuber or cuttings and they're spaced about 50 centimeters apart lots of grit and manure added into the soil here they like a rich soil dahlias but also they like good drainage so that's why you've got grit and the manure and the spacing is as it is and then we're going to make cages to support them from our own hazel so that we don't need to stake each individual dahlia and I want to bring us back and show you this in sort of July and August when it's all in full flower. I've quite carefully put together panels of colour and obviously taken height into account. So we placed all these over the weekend. Then what happened, having placed 200 plants, which took a whole day, is there was a frost forecast so that wasn't ideal so we had to get the fleece out which you can see over there last night and the whole lot got fleeced it's quite windy so we had to wear everything down and you can see even with the fleece a few of them have got slightly scorched but they won't bat an eyelid they'll just grow away completely fine so we'll definitely come back here in midsummer